You can set up a remote meeting with colleagues or with students using Microsoft Teams for Education. This means you can collaborate live with your departments or in small groups, or you can even give a live lesson to your class. This video will focus on how to schedule an online live lesson, but the same steps can be used for setting up a meeting with colleagues. It is important you stay to the end of the video, as there is a very important step to complete before your meeting or lesson begins, which is often forgotten about or is not emphasised enough to users. Once you have opened the Microsoft Teams app, click on the Calendar tab on the left-hand side of the navigation panel. This will display all your entries in your Outlook and Microsoft Teams calendar so far. To schedule a meeting in advance of your lesson, click on the down arrow next to the New Meeting button at the top of the screen and select Schedule Meeting. This will now display the scheduling assistant. You can then fill in the required details shown. However, rather than having to input each student's name into the Add Required Attendees field box, you can just add the correct channel to the Add Channel field box. This means that a post will be displayed in your Class Teams Post tab to notify the students you have set up a meeting. Once you have filled out all the necessary information, you may click the Send button and this will then be posted on the Teams Post tab. To stop others from outside of your school or students taking over the controls of the meeting, you must do the following. Once you have scheduled the meeting, click on the meeting you have created from the Posts tab. This will open the Scheduling Assistant again, but this time you will notice there is an option at the top of the screen called Meeting Options. Click on this. This will open your web browser and display the meeting options. From here you can select who can bypass the lobby and I'd recommend selecting people in my organisation. To prevent students from taking control of the meeting, select only me in the who can present option and then click save. You have now set up your meeting or live lesson. If you have found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to the Teach Me channel and click on the notification bell so you know when more useful videos are released to enhance your teaching and learning.